Hi, this is Manoj Mittal. So we are going to talk about here M365 Copilot Agent Extensibility. So here I have taken a scenario. I have a lot of feedback has received from the users as part of hotel review comments and which is stored in the backend. And we need M365 Copilot chat as an agent to put the prompt, get the result back. Like what are the positive negative feedbacks has provided for the particular users. So to draw and to achieve this sections. So this is a very high level architecture and footprint of all the component which has used. Azure blob storage is used as a storage of the CSV or Excel file which is going to receive and it's going to index into the Azure AI search. Azure AI search is using the Azure AI foundry. Uh, it's used to get the model text embedding three large model, which will help us to vectorizations the files during ingestions. Right. And Azure AI search is going to use the, the skills to enrichment of the data. So we have used the language detections, keyword phrases, sentiment, all these skills has used out of the box which exist here. And then Azure AI search is used as a knowledge source connector into the Copilot Studio agent, which is a custom agent. Once this agent is created, it's get published into the M365 Copilot and Teams, right? So here is the agent will start appearing into M365 Copilot chat where the user can interact to the agent via the prompt and get the response from blob stories. So let's see in action how it's work. Okay, I logged into the Azure portal and reached to the resource group. And here I have created a blob storage. So once I log in, I'll move it to the container. What container has created here to upload the files. So I have a container with the name data. So I'm going to upload the Excel file or a CSV file. And the CSV file is having this data, as you can see, it's a hotel review data, sample data. So this is going to upload and we need to see the sentiment analysis. We will uh, just search out the result who has uploaded what data via the Azure AI search and open AI text embedding model into the agent itself. So let's see in action this one, right? So from here, let's upload uh, this file. I click on upload. So from here, let's click it, review, upload the file. So file is get uploaded, click on upload. Yeah, file has uploaded successfully. Let's go to the resource group again. Move, navigate to create and type as your AI search which services we are going to create it. So let's select here is your AI search. So let's start it uh, with this. Yep, I selected the resource group name, give the service name, locations and select the basic price tier which is sufficient for this demo purpose. And I'll just go create and review just whatever the section is coming that's fine click on create here so it's take a couple of seconds to get created yeah the services has created go to the resources now we we'll land it to the azure ai search here uh, we need to connect with a data source so let's start it here we can select the uh, import and vectorizations of data so let's click it here. It will open the wizard. So here we can select the data source. What we have is your blob storage. We selected this one. We'll select the existing subscriptions, storage account, uh, what we have, portal review data, right? blob container, we have data, folder, parsing mode. We can keep it uh, the default as property here. Let's move to the next. So it's validating the data source connection. Yep, now we navigate to the vectorize your text. So here it's need a Azure Open AI services. So we'll select the same uh, subscriptions. It says no Azure Open AI service available under it. Let's test it out. So we can click create new Azure Open AI services. 
so it will land it to us uh, here let's create and fill out the detail so i selected the resource group select the reason give the name hotel review uh, AOAI and the price tier I selected the standard as zero. Click on next. So that's fine for this demo. We are good. Let's create it. Yeah, click on create. So it's done. Let's click on go to resources. So here we can see open AI services has created. Let's open it. Yeah, so we can go to the Azure AI Foundry portal from here. Yeah, let's uh, go to the model catalog. So what and search it out here text. So we need text embedded model. Let's use this uh, text embedded three large model. Let's create it the deployment model and that can be used into the Azure AI search. Right, so here let's see this configuration should be fine. Click on deploy. So, as you can see here, our text embedding three large model is uh, deployment model is ready. Right, let's go to the Azure AI search now. Yeah, so as we navigate it to the Azure AI search and let's refresh this section. What services we have created start appearing. So the model which we have created, it's also start appearing here. So let's add the keys. I acknowledge that should be fine. Click on next vectorization so we can leave it as of now as we don't have images so it's a csv file which we are going to read it so this is fine we can keep it default schedule uh, this fine we can keep it once as of now just click on next and create it will take a couple of seconds skill has created indexer start searching Okay, so let's navigate to the Azure AI search here. So we have data source. Let's validate data source is ready. And let's go to the skills. So there's a skill has created by default. Let's validate. Yeah, so we have a split skill to the chunk document text item let's add few more skills here for the sentiment analysis translators and the languages okay let's click to the add new ai skill here uh, we can choose so i choose the key phrase extraction skill so this is the template which has created so have already added we can add the column name under which one and which what is the document locations which we need to add it right once we click on insert it will start appearing and will fill as a document this is my uh, the review underscore text as a source which we are going to use it right so similarly i use the another skills as a sentiment uh, skills so here we can select the sentiment skills itself sample is going to create it we need to fill the name descriptions input details as well as output and click on add so as we do this one so this is going to run on the the review underscore text is at my column name it's going to run in that particular column similarly i have uh, another skill as a language detections so this one you can see as a language detections it's also start appearing here we can select it we can click on add and then just it will just start appearing here itself right so let's click on save yeah so we have skill is ready data source is ready go to the indexes so we can see yeah uh, vectorization has done that one csv file which we have uploaded it's showing the count is eight now let's go, let's going to connect this Azure AI search services with a Copilot Studio.
so as i navigate to the copilot studio.microsoft.com click on the new agent here i'll give so what's my so it will create the your agent description instructions based on the prompt which we are going to give it so let's give create a hotel review feedback agent right so let's wait for a couple of seconds. It's going to create the agent analyzing what we have given. How about hotel review helper? Yeah, we are fine. Yeah, it's fine. So it takes a couple of more seconds. Any specific actions or behavior to review and analyze the reviewer feedback it's fine so it's here let's go and click on create it take a couple of seconds so here is my agent now we can see it start appearing description scheme instructions so now we have knowledge source let's add the knowledge source click on add knowledge so it's going to appear this window so we just click on azure ai search right hotel review helper ai search it should be fine let's see so it's pop up with the details what we need to provide authentication type yeah we can use access key endpoint url and the admin key let me add those details yeah here we can get the endpoints which is a url and let's go to the key we can just search for key here so we can copy the key and we can go back here this sections let's go and create so as you can see this is our endpoint it has configured click on next is vectorizations is enabled shows the document count size vector size index let's click on add so it's start appearing here it has added now go to the channel and select teams and m365 copilot let's add to channel publish so as we as you know to wait for uh, for some time it will start appearing into the m365 copilot chat within a teams your agent will start appearing right if it doesn't appear it's uh, taking some time you can uh, go back to your copilot studio so you can go to the publishing uh, here on the settings you can export the agent and it will download the zip file which you can upload it into the teams uh, admin center and that will navigate back to the uh, here on this screen right so let's type the prompt here list down all the positive and negative feedback uh, comment raised by the user a traveler so if you will see there is a, a traveler as a user this user has raised a couple of feedback and we need to analyze what are the feedbacks as a positive or negative let's hit on this prompt Yep, so as a result has appeared here, what are the positive feedback raised by the users? What's the negative feedback raised by users? So, so we have very well tested and connected with the Azure AI search where the OpenAI text embedded three large model. Thanks for watching. If you find the content useful, please do like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.